Hey, what's going on? This is the no-handed bandit at the church gym here. I'm gonna show a little video of how I play basketball. We just got done playing Hoop It Up and took third place. Wanted to say thank you to Hanger Prosthetics for working with me on my basketball prosthetics. And I also wanted to give a shout out to Lawrence out in Texas and uh, say God bless you to all the troops, all the soldiers watching this video. And say thank you to all the soldiers and all the soldiers that Lawrence works with. So, first of all, let's get my socks on. And uh, I left one of these socks inside out on purpose. Just in case your socks come inside out sometimes, you just pinch them from the inside and pull them out. And then, grab the edges and put them on. And I got an ankle brace here. Just wanted to show you that if you do want to tie your shoes, you can. It won't be super tight unless you figure out a way. Then you can make a video and send it to me. So you want to get your laces just like you would if you had hands. Each one. Hopefully the laces have good grip. Okay, here comes tying shoes, or tying laces. Probably go over this another time. Shorts, but make the cross coming under. Little tight. What's up myself in like a no name brand? Don't em. even matter, class or rank. And if uh -huh. you got no uh -huh. money in your bank, cause yeah. I'm flying yeah. second class and I'm still gonna pass despite the fact that I got no cash. Come Some on, come on. Make a bow. Uh -huh. One side. Going over the top. And come through. And we grab. Velcro. These are some pretty cool Velcro straps because they have loops that you can hook into to get them really tight. There. Finally, around we go. Now oh, my shoes, I got these elastic shoelaces that runners use. Uh, they're already done up on my basketball shoes. And I have a Velcro strap around the top. These are uh, Nike Air Force, Air Force Ones, I believe. And they have the Velcro on top, so the laces only come up to the, to the low part of the shoe. So I don't really tie my sh basketball shoes right now. Next set, I might get 
ties, but I do like the Velcro on the high tops. And I've always liked them. Kinda use your hook as a shoehorn. Get the shoe on. Get your Velcro through. So he was just too weak. And what about the up. Use that as a shoehorn. The hook again. Got her on. Put the Velcro in. So oh, I got my shoes on. And now I need to put the sports prosthetics on. Slip off the figure eight. These are uh, impression socks. Uh, I have no idea what you call these things. Roll them on like that. And like that. And pop on my arms. And then I'm ready to play some basketball. And that's the how I get ready to play basketball. Enjoy the footage from Hoop It Up Three on Three tournament, and this is the no-handed bandit signing out. The game, the dream, Lajuan, KG, top of the key, KG, booyah, Mark Jackson. Fade away, dude. One hand. Booyah. This is my brother. I've known him since he was born. <laughs> Me and we started playing when we were little kids. Me and my brother. I, you might as well participate in stuff because there's nothing else to do. And I mean, it might inspire others, but if anything, inspire yourself. This is the Wounded Warrior Hoop It Up game. You just saw us lose. <laughs> So we're all depressed and talking about how sorry we feel about ourselves. <laughs> uh, we won two games, just in case you didn't know. And um, so usually we have about seven hands between five guys. <laughs> so we're a little bit short-handed out here. These are our competition. We're pretty much better than all of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> in case you're wondering, you're talking to probably the best in all of Utah. The no-handed bandit right here. Everything's getting stolen from me. I'm, I'm getting pissed. <laughs> if you notice, he has a black eye. That wasn't from the other team. That was from our own teammate. <laughs> <laughs> that was me off. <laughs> we had a little bit of confrontation team wise. Right, giving each other black eyes. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we have to get them warmed up, so we gotta hit them in the eye a couple <laughs> times. <laughs> it's my brother, so it's all good. <laughs> no, we wanted to come out and uh, play somewhere where uh, everyone's gonna try hard against us and. Uh, they're gonna try to steal the ball from us like normal people and try their hardest so we can get better. And I think one of the things is it's nice to have competition. I mean, it's nice when you get out and play and people aren't letting you shoot the ball because you don't want to be treated like you're a handicap or anything like that. So, I mean, it's good to get out here. The best thing to do is get out of the house. You'll be happier if you uh, get out of the house and be active and uh, try stuff even though it's hard at first, it becomes easy. They can't talk trash to me that you can still beat me with one arm or two hands lost, but <laughs> it's all fun and games, but I really love them, from family and stuff, so. There's things that you love, even when you get hurt, you still wanna do them. No matter what you have to do to do them, you're gonna, or I'm gonna try to do it.